toy cages. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i thought i'd do a very different video than my usual sit down chit chat makeup get ready with me video um and today i'm going to do a what's in my handbag um sort of video um so i haven't emptied my handbag in a long time and it's time for me to go through it and i thought what better way than to go through it on camera with you guys. I have absolutely no idea what I have put in here because I just keep putting stuff in and forgetting to take it back out. So we will see it together. So if you want to see what is in my handbag, then just stay tuned. So this is my handbag. It is a Kate Spade handbag. I got it in the sale last year on Boxing Day. Um, so I absolutely love this bag and it is getting to nearly a year old and it has lasted me so well so I'm just gonna start by going through some of the pockets so there are two in the front so we're gonna see if there's anything that slipped down in here so I have some compede I think this is like a ballista stick but I use this uh, on my thighs in the summer if I'm wearing a skirt it is perfect if any of you people that don't have a thigh gap get something called chub rub where your legs rub together and it gets really sore this is a lifesaver and i always have this in my handbag um so if any ever i get a bit chafy i rub that on my thighs and then i don't end up with those sore patches that absolutely kill when you walk so that is a must have that i have in my handbag oh we're gonna find a lot of these in my handbag and it probably sounds really disgusting but they're just everywhere it's just a diabetic's life I have a test strip which are going to be all over my handbag so this is a test strip from my Omnipod testing kit which I no longer use since I have gone on to the Dexcom which if you want to hear more about that and why I don't test my bloods the usual way anymore then just like this video and comment below and I'll upload that video for you guys but yeah this is a test strip and if any of you guys don't know what it looks like it's very pretty it's got a butterfly on it so and it's tiny whiny so yeah there's always a test strip somewhere in my bag so that's all for those front pockets i'm now going to go into the zip pocket this is a bit weird and not very nice i have some of my stick on fake nails i bought ages ago so i've got this one here i've got that one and i also have this one from another set these are just from where they've pinged off at work, I've stuck in my bag, ready to stick back on and I never got around to sticking them back on. So they will have to go in the bin along with that test strip, but that's a bit weird, they're casually in my bag still. I have a set of keys for my uh, birthday present I got from my parents, uh, which was a big box, like vanity box I can take with me if I ever do makeup out and about. So I have those keys in my bag just in case not too sure a receipt from Sainsbury's for petrol so they're gonna there's gonna be a lot of them in my bag as well <laughs> that is all for that zip up pocket so that is empty it's just gonna fill of rubbish this is just embarrassing I don't know why I'm doing this video so I have my purse this I've had for years this is a purse I got from accessorize a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it uh, it probably does need a clean out um and i will need to get a new one at some point because it is kind of falling apart a little bit but that is in my bag it's also really heavy so maybe that's a con so obviously i always have a purse in my handbag a set of headphones that don't work so these did work a couple of months ago and i just didn't take them out my bag when they stopped working these are skull candy headphones and I always make sure I have a set of headphones in my handbag just in case I want to listen to any music uh, or I want to sit at work on my break just to watch some YouTube videos. It's always good to have headphones because not everyone wants to listen to what you're listening to. So I always have headphones in my bag and I think it's time to buy some new ones since these ones don't work anymore. My national rail card which has expired and I need to update it. But I have this in my bag just in case I have a spontaneous trip to London. Not too sure when I'm ever going to have that. But <laughs> this is always in my handbag just in case. Um, because I have gone without it before and so 
that's fun so that is in my handbag and it's also really good for if you want to put any like credit cards or anything in it so you can just have this with you instead of having a purse this kind of looks a bit more inconspicuous than having a purse in your bag so nail varnish remover <laughs> i took this to work with me a couple of weeks ago uh, to take off my nail varnish before getting my nails done at the salon and i don't think i remember to take it out of my bag obviously so this is just a nail varnish remover in a pot that you put your finger in and twist it around and you have your nail varnish off this doesn't live in my handbag i don't usually have this in my handbag but it's just from going to work and coming back and forgetting to take it back out oh my word some of these i don't even know what these are called like vending machine balls that are like a pound because i love collecting uh Oh, I don't have them here. Like my little key rings with Disney characters on. And these are what they come in. And I got three a couple of weeks ago from the bowling alley. And yeah, I forgot to take them out of my bag. So I've just been carrying around these for ages in my bag. I might give them to my nephew. It'd be quite fun. You can muck around with them. So yeah, some random toy cages. <laughs> A small pack of Dextros. I might need to top up on these. Uh, these I use to treat my hypos when I'm out and about. So if my bloods do go low, I can pop some of these in my mouth, chew them down, and in about 15 minutes, my bloods will be back up. So these are really good. I always make sure I have at least a small pack of these in my bag. Um, so I will need to pack up on them. But these are the blackcurrant flavour. These aren't my favourite to treat a hypo, but they are the quickest way. So... I have to do it, but then not I don't like eating these, but Dextro save lives just as jelly babies do. And I can't eat jelly babies, they don't work on me. So yeah. <laughs> An empty extras gum packet. So I always have gum with me. Um I ran out yesterday, so I might need to go get some more. So I always carry gum because I do suffer from like mild anxiety. So sometimes if I drive, I get a bit worried. So I just have some gum with me just so I can chew down so I don't get so panicky. And also the mint is really refreshing, obviously. Fresh breath. So yeah, I always have gum, but obviously I need to stock up. <laughs> a smushed packet of tissues. Not sure if anyone wants to see this, but I just have some tissues in the bottom of my bag. Not sure I'm gonna use these. But I usually do have tissues just in case I get a sudden runny nose. My eyes start, start watering or anyone else needs some tissues at any point. So I will have to put a new pack in my bag. But that is a manky old pack. That is going straight in the bin. <laughs> a boots voucher which expired on the 4th of November. So I've had this in my bag for quite a while. Uh, so obviously when you get your receipt you get a voucher at Boots and I never claimed any of these so they are expired so that is also going in the bin. Some hoop earrings that really hurt my ears. These hoop earrings look really nice until you wear them for too long and then they really drag on your ears. So this is where I've worn them to work, taken them out at work and just put them in my bag and forgotten they're in there so they must have been in there for quite a while. Um, but these ones are the ones that really, because they're quite chunky. But yeah, they're quite chunky. So they are quite heavy on my ears. I'm not used to wearing hoop earrings or dangle earrings. I usually always stick with studs. So having these in for too long really aggravate me and oh, a bit of hair, make my earlobes hurt. So they're in my bag and they're going to go back where they belong in the drawer. A mini works or the works loyalty card that my nan gave me ages ago and I never put it on my key ring it's one of those key ring ones I don't really go in the works so I'm not too sure why I have this um so I might keep it I might just leave it at home I don't really use the works so who knows <laughs> this is a appointment I'm obviously not going to show you what's on my appointment it's an appointment for a hospital appointment that I had to go to the other day and so this hasn't been in there that long but I have forgotten to take it out and it now lives in my bag so I will be taking this out today <laughs> and emptying my bag out but yeah uh, 
random appointment that I went to the other day. Empty packet of gum. I think I've got another one in here. Another bit of the empty packet of gum. As I said, always have gum on me, so I must have run out and just put it back in my bag. Couldn't find a bin. Bit lazy, but there you go. What are handbags for? <laughs> A hairband, which is always a good thing to have in your handbag, just in case your hair gets in the way. So, trusty hairband is always good. Um, but yeah, that is another thing in the bottom of my handbag that I don't didn't realise was there. So, we'll put that back in in a like special place where I know where it is. McDonald's vouchers, which I got from a colleague at work. Even though now I am going on a diet to lose a little bit of weight. So I won't be needing these and I think they've, oh, not quite, 9th of December. Um, so I might give these to my brother or someone else or I might use them. But I am trying to be good. But yeah, they're in the bottom of my bag. I think I got given these about three months ago. So yeah, there's like eight days left on these. So I might have to give them to someone quick. KFC little, I say care pack, which has napkins, uh, it also has their wipe and it also has a bit of salt in it. I thought it would be quite good just to have in my bag just in case, not too sure what I'm going to use it for. I'm one of those people that just has random stuff in their bag. So if someone needs a tissue, a wipe or something, some salt. I'm not sure what you're going to use salt for out and about but there you go. Um, some stuff there. I don't know why I've got half this stuff in my bag. <laughs> uh, what else we got? A little like tester lipstick from uh, Mark. Oh, it's Avon. This is a little Avon lipstick that I think my nephew took from my brother's friend's house and my brother just gave it to me. I might try it out. It's very tiny, like... But that's been in my bag for again a good few months because I didn't know it was in there. I've had a dummy in my bag before, but I did realise quite quickly that was in there. I was rummaging around, rummaging, rummaging, rummaging around for my keys, and my nephew had dropped his dummy in. Luckily, he's got loads of dummies, so it didn't matter too much. It wasn't like big hysterics, but that was in my bag a couple of weeks ago. Some nail glue for my fake nails when I had them a couple of months ago. So I had this in my bag and then obviously when the nail popped off I just glued it back on. Obviously not with those other two. I don't know why I didn't do that but I always had nail glue. I think this is dried out now. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to need that. That's going in the bin. <laughs> Another nail, a plaster. They're always good to have in your bag just in case you cut your finger at work on a piece of paper. That's the only thing I can have happen or staple myself. So I have a plaster in my bag. Also, if I get blisters or anything, they're always good. So I always carry a plaster. I forgot it was in there, but I had it. So if anyone needed one, I could have searched in my bag and found one. A hair clip. People are probably going to get bored by the end of this video, but I have some crap in my bag. Excuse the language, but... I have a hair clip just in case I need to pin back my hair at any point. That did absolutely nothing, because I didn't catch any hair. So I clip back my hair. Um... But yeah, always good to have a hair clip. Just like it is good to have a hairband. I have loads more receipts. I'm probably just going to take all these out. Getting to the end of this. I'm nearly at the bottom of the bag. Some more hair grips just in the bottom of my bag. Casually sitting there. A couple of more testing strips this is going to be gross and people are going to probably call me disgusting a jelly bean that fell out my pot when i was having jelly beans a couple of months ago um my pot opened in my bag so yeah i must have missed that one i did empty the rest of them out but i forgot this one <laughs> so a random jelly bean another one this is gross jess that's three pounds worth of change a few pound coins and some 50s Piece, that is. <laughs> um, I never have changed, so I'm not too sure where this is from, but it's in the bottom of my bag, so it's mine. I must have just got some money out of the bank and just forgotten that I had changed. So that will go in my purse, so I finally have some change for like parking and things like that. I think that is everything. So that is my empty bag. <laughs> okay, so that is 
the end of my bag it's all empty nothing left in it no pocket has been left unopened um so i hope you really enjoyed this video guys comment below any weird things that you find in your bag any random jelly beans like i found any hair grips uh pastas anything like that don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my weird wacky random videos that I upload anytime um i hope you have an amazing week and i will see you in my next video not sure what it's going to be might be another random what's in my bag challenge or video i don't know i'm rambling now so guys enjoy your week and i will see you in my next video bye guys